So the plan is to cover a whole bunch of canvases with all these stickers and make just a giant sticker bomb collage. I've been saving these stickers because I've always wanted to sticker bomb something. I never wanted to sticker bomb like my car or like furniture or anything. I don't know because I knew one day I'd have to get rid of it. And so I've been saving all these stickers to do some canvases. That way I could just have a whole canvas wall of stickers that I've been just collecting for a while. So I got all my stickers set up. I got some canvases and I'm going to try to squeeze all of these stickers on some small canvases. Or does anybody else have a giant sticker collection just so I don't feel as weird? All right, what's up guys? So I'm going to do a voiceover throughout this whole video and just talk to you guys, make it kind of like a chill and watch me put all these stickers on a canvas kind of thing. So I've been collecting these stickers for years. Every time I get a sticker, I throw it in my drawer and it just stays there. Uh, I've always planned on making a sticker bomb or something, but I never wanted to do my car or furniture because I knew I'd have to get rid of it or sell it at some point. So for this one, I just grabbed random stickers and went for it. I started in the middle with that giant FLA sticker that the homie Amir gave me. Got that Vans off the wall sticker. I also got that half evil middle finger sticker, which I think is a pretty rare one in the middle left. And then we got the Jay and Silent Bob round sticker there. A little story behind that one. My aunt worked at a bank and Silent Bob's mom came through. My aunt told her that I'm a big fan and the mom came and dropped off a whole Jay and Silent Bob care package for me. So I got stickers, posters, little banners, little signs. And this one's the Sweets, which is a Kadama brand called Kadama Sweets. That's a sticker that came with it. What's this one? We got a little Woods, what's it, Woodstock? Yeah, we got a little Circle Woodstock sticker going on there now. And then we got Sure for Sure Microphones. That's a sticker that came with one of my mics a couple years ago. And now we're throwing up the, uh, the Bearded Goat sticker. I have no clue what that is, but it's called the Bearded Goat, so I thought that was funny. So hope you guys are enjoying your day. Hopefully you guys are sipping on a coffee right now because that's what I'm doing. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this sticker bomb. Uh, I know the quarantine's still going on, so hopefully you guys stay safe as well. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their time alone, being locked in their room and finding something fun to do. Hey, maybe go paint something if you've never painted before. But I just threw up that little Woody sticker I got from Disney with the real friends underneath it because, you know, Woody's a real one. It's a real friend. Got that Deftones sticker there, one of my favorite bands. Here I just kind of throw up some random band stickers. I got that Skid Row. We got My Chemical Romance to the left over there. Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Crazy Carls. That's an old band that uh, I saw War not Warped Twice. I saw a House of Blues once in Orlando. Got Lamb of God on there. A little, little Beatles action. This one's going to be over soon, I promise. Then we're going to start the next canvas, which is a little Alaska traveling theme. See my face when I slide through Every place I will find so this one's going to be all my travel stickers, stickers I collected while traveling. I got some bumper stickers on there. I got some stickers when I went to Alaska, some stickers when I went to Seattle, a bunch of Kurt Cobain stickers and such. So this one, I went in with a different strategy. This one, instead of putting the cool stickers first, I try to cover the entire canvas. And then I'm gonna put the cool stickers on after, which is honestly what I should have did first. Well, I'm so tired of the rain falling softly on the ground. Just enough to get my feet wet, but not enough to let me drown. I've been laying in my bed, wishing I had never woken, begging God to rid my head of every word you've ever spoken. Broke my knuckles on the wall, because I thought about the call, where you said you'd always love me. Do you not tell the truth at all? So 
so this one I'm going for the tattoo aesthetic theme here. I got a couple tattoo stickers from different places that I've got tattoos. We got Aces High, Wicked 13, and I have some artist tattoo stickers. And then I just put stickers on there that I thought kind of fit the tattoo theme. We got some Supreme, we got some tattooed little princesses, the anarchy symbol, some Slipknot. Well, I cut around and it did not come out that clean at all, so I gotta come up with a different one. All right, so I swapped over to just a razor blade and it's working a lot better. It's not perfect. So I decided to just slowly cut off all the edges so that way I have a clean edge, get rid of all the excess sticker. And honestly, it did not come out that good. So what I'm gonna do is paint the edges black and I think that's gonna make it look better hanging up on the wall anyways. So that's what I'm doing right here. Just knocking out all the edges real fast, let them dry overnight. And then I can show you guys the final piece. And there we have it guys, three fully sticker bomb canvases. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share if you want to. More importantly, go paint something guys. If you're bored at home, go learn a new hobby. It doesn't matter if it comes out good. You gotta start with something, you'll get better, I promise you. And if you have a bunch of stickers and you don't wanna paint, go sticker bomb on canvas, make something cool for your wall. And here it is guys, the final product. Hope you guys enjoyed it, I love it. Roll up.